Are you thinking about moving to Venice, Florida in 2023? Here's what you need to know and we're getting started right now. First thing you need to know is there is a lot of opportunities on the outskirts of Venice that are starting to open up now that North Venice is becoming a thing. Welland Park, their new downtown has opened. So there's a lot of different opportunities outside of what a lot of people would think of with Venice, which is just the island, I think. Yes, and this gives you a lot more opportunities for different styled homes. So single family homes, villas, townhouses, and also condos while the island it's mainly condos and some townhouses here and there and some villas the outskirts of venice can provide a lot more different opportunities yeah and gated communities with you know amenities things like that so yeah a much different style of living puts you a little bit further away from the beach in most instances but also less flood risk you know there's a lot of factors a way out with that and as always working with a good realtor can help you balance those things out by the way if you are looking to buy or sell home in the area Make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. Phone number is 941-221-1897. Call or text at any time. We hear from people all the time and we love it. Another thing you need to know is all the new construction that's going on in the North Venice area and Welland Park as well. The city of Venice is already pretty much built out, but all these different communities uh, have a lot of different options for you. Yeah, so if you want something a little bit newer or you know more modern style or just something with a little less maintenance because it's not as old of a home, that's a way to go. And I think another thing that's important that you need to know is that most of the other homes in Venice are going to be older. And when we say older, like, that's different than maybe compared to like the Midwest or the Northeast. Like sometimes when you talk about an older home, it could have been built in the 20s, the 30s. Here we're talking typically on 60s on up. A lot of them, I would say the majority are going to be like 70s, 80s, 90s. And, you know, depending on where you're talking about the 2000s. But on the island, probably somewhere within that range. Mm -hmm. And with that comes more updating and more projects. So if you don't want to take on a project, all these other new communities around Venice are a great option for you. Yeah, and if you do want to be like on the island, then yeah, you're probably going to be looking at something a little bit older and you're going to be paying for location. And smaller. And smaller. And you're going to be paying for location because you're closer to the downtown, you're closer to the beach, to Sharkies, to the jetty, all the fun stuff that a lot of people love about Venice. So you're gonna pay a little more, you're gonna get a little smaller, you're gonna get a little bit of an older home, but it's gonna be in prime location. And again, that might bring some projects with it, but you know, you gotta balance, I guess, the pros and cons for you and what, what you're, you're you looking want. for. Yes. Yeah. Another thing you need to know if you're moving to Venice is that the real estate market here is changing. It has been changing over the last four or five months. We actually have inventory for the first time in two years. We're sitting at about five months worth of inventory. So if you are looking to maybe not get a deal, but get a home that's not crazy overpriced, right now it's a great time to buy and you actually have the time to make your decision and inform yourself of, okay, does this make sense? Does it not make sense? And you don't have as much competition. Also, you are able to now negotiate because there is not as much competition. If the price is the right price. Yes. Sometimes some, some are, are overpriced and that's, yes. yeah, where that happens. Not that you think like every house you're gonna get a deal. Right, because some, some, some homes are still selling within a day or two. It's just, it depends on the location. It depends if they, if the, price is right. So some homes are still selling very quickly, but there are others that are staying on the market for a couple months. Next thing you need to know about moving to Venice, Florida is all the things that kind of go with living in a place, right? As far as jobs, schools, all that kind of stuff, you know, crime, all, all those things are pretty much relatively the same as they always have been in all the previous videos we've covered. Uh, but yeah, great schools, low crime, Jobs not the best as far as that goes. So you probably either want to be looking at something in healthcare, construction, or you know, handyman schools, type teaching. things. Schools, teaching, um, tourism, something along those lines. You know, having your own business is good if you are a digital nomad or have uh, work from home type work. And if you have your own business, I'd say those are like the main best opportunities. Or of course, or if you're retired, you're gonna retire. <laughs> then then you don't gotta worry about that yeah. work. You just gotta worry about working your butt on over to that beach. Another thing you need to know is that if you want to be close to a downtown, now you have the possibility of being close to the Welland Park downtown, being in Venice, like if you're in South Venice, it's very, very close. I would say within 10 minutes, probably closer than the actual Venice downtown. Yeah, it just depends. <laughs> yes, so you don't have to be part of the Welland Park community and pay more to be able to access that downtown. So that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, and I think one other thing that's important to know is about that downtown in general, kind of where that's at in 2023. They had a soft opening for it in 
mid-February, a lot of the restaurants and things like that, they're saying are gonna be open in March. So by the time you're watching this, a lot of those will be open. So that is super exciting. That's a really important thing to know because again, yeah, now you have options. And mm -hmm. another thing to consider too is if you're out like towards the south end of Venice, you might even be just as close to Inglewood's Dearborn Street downtown. So now you kind of got three downtowns to think about to play with. So that's super exciting for the area. And if you're thinking about moving to the Venice area, it's got that small town feel still, mm -hmm. but you've got options for three different downtowns. Like you would kind of get out of a big city. So that's pretty amazing. And if you don't mind the drive, you're still about 35, 40 minutes drive to Sarasota and Sarasota has like three different downtowns. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you really can't be bored. Yes, we are in a great location. <laughs> One other thing you need to know is that living in Venice, Florida has changed a little bit over the last couple years. In this video right here, we go over how living in Venice has changed in 2023. And if you are looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email us. I am a local realtor here. My information will be in the description box below. Call or text in anytime. We hear from people all the time and we love it. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications and live, live breezy. breezy.